Hey guys, this is Gabby from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between MX Platinum and Chase Sapphire Reserve. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the annual fee. Chase Sapphire Reserve charges an annual fee of $550, while MX Platinum charges a $695 annual fee. These are the current annual charges and could change over time. MX Platinum is best suited for users who wish to travel in style and spend a lot of money. There are certain limitations within their reward redemption program. On the other hand, the Chase Sapphire Reserve caters to users who may spend less money but still prefer to access practical rewards. Chase Sapphire Reserve therefore costs less. Redemption Rewards Chase Sapphire offers users a bonus once they redeem their points via Chase Ultimate Rewards. Currently, you receive a 50% bonus on every redemption that you make. For instance, if you redeem 50,000 points, these are worth $500. These bonuses could change over time. On the other hand, MX Platinum does not offer any redemption bonus upon redeeming your points. Chase Sapphire Reserve therefore offers a good bonus deal when you redeem your points. Travel Benefits Although this is subject to change, Chase Sapphire Reserve currently provides a welcome offer of 60,000 points for users who spend $4,000 on purchases within 3 months of opening an account. You also earn 5 times points on flights taken. You're also eligible for 10 times points on hotels and car rentals. Once you spend $300, you can earn 3 times points on dining and other travel activities. On the other hand, Amex Platinum currently provides a welcome offer of 80,000 points for users who spend $8,000 within 6 months of opening an account. You also earn 5 membership points per dollar spent on hotel bookings and flights booked via American Express Travel. Users also earn 1 point for each dollar spent on other eligible products. Chase Sapphire Reserve therefore has a wider range of practical offers to the users. But do they have any similarities? Yes, the two are similar in that they're both luxury travel cards for users willing to spend a good amount of money. They also allow users to transfer points and have welcome bonuses and perks. So to sum up, which is better, MX Platinum or Chase Sapphire Reserve? What I like most about MX Platinum is its concentration on luxurious travel, allowing users to have an experience of their lifetime. On the other hand, I like the flexibility provided by Chase Sapphire Reserve. Despite the lower cost, it offers users a wide range of practical benefits while maintaining luxury in travel. Although I like both cards, I choose Chase Sapphire Reserve as the overall winner due to its slight edge over MX Platinum, especially because of its flexibility. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching.